Okay, <clears throat> uh, so now that I have done all the editing that I want to, uh, and you can see now I've made the fabric animated as well. So I've done my best to try and make sure that that looks a bit like fabric. It's a bit of a shobby job at the moment. Um, once I've done that, uh, there's a few things that I want to do. So I want to uh, change the length of it, because at the moment it's longer than 16 seconds, and I want it to be to 16 seconds. Um, and the other thing is, is I want to export this. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to composition, and then I'm going to go to composition settings. I'm going to change the duration of my film to 16 seconds. Um, there we go. So now it's 16 seconds long, so it captures the whole thing. Um, and now that I've done that, I'm going to go to Compositions again, uh, and then I'm going to click on Add to Render Queue. Uh, here, what I can do is I can change some of the settings. So I can go to Render Settings here, make sure my quality is at best, resolution is full, uh, and that's OK. So I'm going to press OK for that. Uh, I can make sure um that the output is specified so i'm going to put it in my moving image file and it's going to be an mp4 uh, and i'm going to name it uh, man in the wind uh, and then save that uh, and the other thing you can do is you can make sure uh, that the output module is is correct so the format that i've got at the moment is h246 um, which is good. You can change that to QuickTime if you want to, um, and so on. But I think that's good for me at the moment. The channel is RGB, which is brilliant. Um, and I'm just going to press OK. Uh, and then when that's done, I'm just going to click Render. Uh, and then that should be saved on your computer. Uh, that's all you need to do. Brilliant.